someone who watched Tom Aspinall work in training and during his amateur and early pro career felt like they were looking at a future UFC heavyweight champion. Tom Aspinall has every skill you would want from a big man. Moves exceedingly well, his speed is gonna be a real problem in, in theory for the opposition tonight and most of these heavyweights just are not as fleet of foot. That says nothing of his grappling game. This is the longtime grappling coach for Team Calvon. He has every skill in his mixed martial arts arsenal. And scary proposition for the rest of the heavyweight division. He ain't getting worse. Round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? He needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start. Think about striking. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing with volume. Two. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean, kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Aspinall. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Oh, beautiful jab there by Jones. Under three minutes now to go in the round. How about the leg kick there? Beautiful. Work, guys. Come on. Just miss with that right hand. Jones gets caught with that punch. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Aspinall gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Sidekick, well placed. Unable to land with that punch. Fast leg kick lands. He missed with that jab attempt there. Another one. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough his elbow, a lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting me. Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Big right hand. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. 
And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strokes. His opponent has not done anything to right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that one. Nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Just missed with the left there. Nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. Oh, that one landed, yep. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Let's get that takedown and win the round. Well, he's really starting to land a number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Lead kick is true there by Aspinall. Does a great job of mixing up his strikes. Lands another leg kick. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight angle. So when you give him that blood, that is a huge connection. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get in his face so that he doesn't get back. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish them. It seems like the guy's playing with his boots. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with him. No. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that, but when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. All right, mixing up the leg kicks nicely, and that thigh starting to show some visible signs of bruising. You know, you can't even worry about what that high leg kick does now. You have to worry about the dividends that it will pay as we go forward in this fight. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Boom, straight up here. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. 
Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of the stick. Aspinall going for the leg kick. He misses. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Aspinall's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, the high kick lands. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Aspinall gets caught by the straight punch. Another punch lands for this fight. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. It's amazing. One calf kick can do so much damage. Starting to show some signs of bruising there. It's already starting to limit him. Oh, his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high. And now he's got him hurt bad. Oh! With authority, the body. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Aspinall's really limping now. Clearly, the leg kicks have had the desired effect. Just a nasty leg kick. That would hurt. That's hard to watch. I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut may try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every Ready. time he gets hit there, the blood Ready. goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Beautifully placed in time knee there by Aspen. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Jones is really taking aim at that cut right now, and hard to blame him, right? They might even call in the ringside physician. He is continuing to target that area. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Oh, and he lands another huge leg kick downstairs. Oh, that person, man, this could be the beginning of the end. John, it's time for his corner to start looking at stopping this fight. <laughs> Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Well, you know Rogan's pissed he missed. Oh! He's hurt, he's wobbling. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Aspinall gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can, seems like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. Man, 
this is getting harder to watch with every calf kick that lands. I'm not sure if the team should throw in the towel, maybe the referee get involved, but it seems like the outcome here is an eventual. <laughs> Misses with the left punch there. Jones is cut on his nose. His oh, bad. Final seconds of the round. The fight's over. John Jones gets the win by TKO. Yo, wow. That was nasty. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 54 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, John Jones! All right, so you heard it there from Bruce Buffer. John Jones, your winner by TKO here tonight, and that has got to feel good. It's got to feel good to get a TKO victory. But if you know John Jones, if you watch John Jones, it's a matter of setting a person up. Once he gets them hurt, his finishing instincts are second to none. And that was on full display tonight as he gets his TKO victory. And you got to think it's a title situation next for the future Hall of Famer and former light heavyweight champion, Johnny.